Hey, is Zach here? Yeah, he's just back in his studio. Cool, thanks. Hey, Zach, you ready for this interview? Hi, Eric. I am so ready for this interview. I mean, look at this. This is incredible. You like that? Where do you get the inspiration? I mean... This one, I'm going for all out, most audacious piece I've ever done. Oh, the ball's on you. I know. She's almost done. Can I touch it? No! Hey everybody, I'm sitting here with Zach Killian. Zach moved into Salon Republic Hollywood into a studio which is right behind Donovan holding the camera right now. And so uh, I asked Zach if uh, he would uh, uh, let us know who he is and show us his you know, craziness. And so here he is. So Zach, thanks so much for doing this. Thank so, you. So tell us about uh, you know, who you are, where you came from, and, and what do you do? Who am I? <laughs> well, my name is Zach Killian. I'm from Wichita, Kansas. Born and raised in Kansas. Okay. Um, that's where I started doing hair, actually. Nice. Yeah. Um, I lived in New York for a few years when I was younger, and then moved to L.A. about a little over eight years ago. Okay, nice. Yeah. And so you started doing hair in Kansas. You did hair in New York? I actually didn't do hair in New York. Why not? I went to school for musical theater performance. No way. Yeah, okay. I was a theater kid. Wow. Yeah. Very interesting. And then you started doing hair again when you moved to L.A.? Yes. I love doing hair. I love my clients. I love color cuts. But there's a little part of me, I think it's that like theater kid inside of me, I love extra. I love the, I love the extraness of <laughs> theater. And uh -huh. I wanted to kind of embrace that extraness with hair. Sure. And as I, I can't imagine why you would uh, want to do that. <laughs> I mean, I'd had experience with wigs growing up. Okay. Like as a kid, I was fascinated by wigs. I know it's like a strange thing, but I, I just loved them. And I would... Like, I had my grandma buy me wigs, and I would sit there and I would braid them, and I would parade them around and say, do you think this one's pretty? What do you think of this braid? Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know, it just, I was always doing theater, and I would do wigs for my friends who were doing, like, theater productions. For fun? Um, well, yeah, for fun. Yeah. I was young. I wasn't, like, a licensed cosmetologist. Right. I, I just loved doing it. Mm -hmm. I liked that I could transform just, like, you know, a mop of straight hair or whatever texture hair and create a different shape out of it. Yeah. How did you get to the part where we start getting into stuff like this and, and this? Because, I mean, this is, uh, this is spectacular. Nobody else does stuff like this. <laughs> I mean, I think everyone has it in them to be able to do something. <laughs> but really, I just kind of took, like, my um, things that inspired me. Mm -hmm and just kind of took it to the next step, I guess. Mm -hmm. I loved like vintage hair. I loved that big glamorous wavy look. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know, I just kind of thought, why don't I try to create that look with different textures of hair? Um, and so where did you go? Like, like what is this made of? This, it's synthetic hair. Okay. All of my, like all of the big wavy ones, yeah. that's, it's all synthetic. Okay, so it's uh, like, like a clown wig or something? Actually, this, this particular one, this is from the beginning when I was still, like, experimenting. Okay. It's, I act, it's actually just three clown wigs that really? I pinned together and cut kind of like a hedge, and then I mold it with a, with a blow dryer. Yeah, with heat, spray. right? Yeah. Because it's, it's plastic, essentially. It's, yeah, it's plastic. Yeah. Oh, it's very interesting. Medium heat. Not Medium, right? Yeah. You don't want to melt it. No. There's a fine line between melting and... Not doing anything. I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, so then what do you do with them? Because you make a lot of these. I do. Right? And then, so what do you do with them? Uh, they're for people. I do like some custom orders. It's, I started out thinking, oh, I'll make them for people and I'll just do custom orders online. And I, they're very labor intensive. So, so how, how, labor, like, how long does it take to do this? Actually, this, this one was fairly quick. I okay. think if I were to like actually send this off with someone, it would take longer, but I, it probably took me four hours to do it. Okay. But now you're, the one that I was wearing 
in our little skit, the blue, the blue one, one yeah. that took you how long? Those take forever. That's, I mean, those take days. Really? Probably a total of like 40 hours of work, I would so, say. So that might week. be exaggerating, but it's like, it's an intense amount of time. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. Okay, so you have to buy all the materials, the wigs or whatever, and the yeah. hair, synthetic hair, and then you go very in, labor intensively to each part and you shape it and you form it. And then once it cools, it stays. Pretty much. I okay. mean, it doesn't even necessarily have to cool. Interesting. Just, yeah. Um, basically, I just section out the hair and saturate with hairspray and blow dry. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. Okay, so um, so you do you sell them online or is it just custom? Um, I don't I don't sell them online necessarily. It's yeah. mostly like through. It's custom orders right. through either through Instagram or through direct connections. Okay. Um, yeah, I okay. don't have like an Etsy shop or anything. Right. Okay. So how many of these do you make a month? Do you think? Oh God, it kind of depends because I am a full time stylist, so I have clients. I do color cuts. That's my full time job, and gotcha. I also do freelance jobs like photo shoots. Um, so it just depends. I probably do on like a busy month, maybe six. Okay. Well, that seems like a lot. Yeah. Do you like doing your normal clients more, or do you like doing your wigs more? If you have, if you had to give one up, which would you give up? I'm not answering that. I, that's an evil question. I shouldn't have even <laughs> asked it. Okay. So you're making six of these things a month, and um, they're for a lot of different people. Are there any entertainment related use? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I actually have done a lot for. Some of the queens from RuPaul's Drag Race, which mm -hmm. I, I love that show, and it's um, definitely inspired me to make wigs because I was inspired by a lot of other wig makers on Instagram or wig stylists. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I've done. It's kind of crazy, like the opportunities that these wig, wigs have brought about. Oh, like what? Um, well, I did a few wigs for um, this coming season or this current season of America's Next Top Model. Awesome. Yeah. I have a few wigs in uh, that in the first episode. Nice. Yeah. Um, and contact, when does that air? That airs, I believe, in December. I believe it's December first. It might have already started. Okay, so actually. we'll probably air after that. Yeah. I did. I just recently did a piece for Ashanti. Nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, one of my my wig was featured on her newest single, "Say Less." Nice. Yeah. On her music video? No, it's on. It's actually her, her single cover. Oh come on! Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Good for um, you. Yeah. I did a couple pieces for Bjork, which she has not worn yet. Um, <laughs> but, but she's got them. She, and so she, <laughs> they she, were for Bjork. She, she ordered them custom. They, it was actually through her, her, I don't know, her stylist or her friend who is part of her styling team. I don't mm -hmm. know. Um, but yeah, they were specific orders. It's nothing like this. Okay. But, so has anybody yeah. ever... Um, you know, not liked it, and you have to change it and stuff like that? No. <laughs> so where can people find you online? People can find me on Instagram. Okay. At Zach Killian. It's just my name. Okay. C-A-C-H-K-I-L-I-A-N. Thank you so much for doing this, and thank you for being part of Salon Republic, and uh, we love you for it. Thanks, Eric. I love you.